I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why she chases and then runs away. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Coach, so this girl that I have been with for almost three years, we broke up going on six months ago. The first two months we broke up, I didn't sit around and wait for her. I went out and had fun, and I kept living life. Good job. I know it was hard to do, but you did it. That's the best best approach to take after you get after a crash and burn happens. So he says, after those months, she started to find ways to talk to me. If I didn't talk to her, I would hear from a friend how she missed me. One time, she even called my phone and told me she missed me. So I asked her then if we could hang out, and she said yes. And he says it never happened. And then she got cold and distant again. So I didn't contact her till she contacted me. So then she started to come up to my work randomly just to say, hey, and it happened a couple of times. And he says one week she came up there three straight times. So the days go, the day goes by and she starts sending random I love and miss you texts. So I asked her to hang out once more and she said yes. And then she got cold and distant again. Later on that week I find out from somebody else she's been talking to somebody else. I asked her and she said he makes me happy. To find out she doesn't to find out he doesn't know she texts me or comes up to my job, but she claims she's so much happier with this guy. It seems she loves this guy more than me because she cut me off for him, but why does she keep doing all these actions towards me when she says she's happier and wants this other dude? What can I do to reattract her back? Do I just keep do I just stop contacting her period? Well here's the deal, dude. When she contacts you, you arrange a date to get together and hang out for a drink. And it sounds like you're not making definite plans. It sounds like you're asking her to do stuff and then you're kind of leaving things up in the air and then you don't nail things down. And then when you try to confirm something later on, she gets flaky and cold. I'm busy. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll get back to you. And that's the kind of shit that she gives you. Then that, I mean, you're getting that behavior because you're not being direct and getting to the point. Women like that. Women like men who are assertive and gently lead and take control of the direction of where the relationship and the interaction goes. She calls you, she puts herself into your orbit, but you should understand and she have the mindset, well, the reason she's reaching out to me is because she wants me naked in bed again. That's got to be the only reason. And so your job as a man should just be to facilitate a time to get together for drinks. Either you meet at a place for drinks or you would just say, hey, why don't we get together and and make dinner this week sometime. You can grab a bottle of wine, come on over, and I'll take care of the rest. And then just say, when are you free this week? Send that to her. And make definite plans, a definite day and a definite time where you're both going to get together. And if she won't make plans, then just say, all right, well, when you figure out your schedule, give me a call and we'll plan something. And then you just walk away and you wait to hear from her. But if there's another dude in the picture and she's like going hot and cold, Part of the problem is because you're not setting definite dates and you're not getting together with this girl. That That's the whole point. When she reaches out to you, make plans. Make the date happen. Say, I look forward to seeing you. Can't wait to see you again, whatever it is. And then get off the phone or, or tell her, send that to her in a text. I can't wait to see you. I'm really in the middle of something right now, but I'll talk. To, I'll see you then. I look forward to seeing your smiling face or whatever it happens to be. And then you get off the phone. And then in the meantime, she'll be thinking about you and wondering about you. And part of it is that she wants to see if you'll start chasing her and pursuing her. But, you know, so she's got this other guy in her life. And so when he's doing things wrong, she probably starts to call and pursue you a little bit more. But when things are going well with him, that's when she can disappear. That's why you don't need to do anything except go on about your life like you've been doing. Date other women that you've been dating, hook up with other women you've been hooking up with. And when this girl does reach out to you, then you should go ahead and set a date, set a definite date, and then get off the phone. If she won't set the date, then withdraw the offer, tell her to call you when she figures it out. And so every time she contacts you, your goal is to arrange a date, time to get together, and then get off the phone as quick as possible. You don't need to sit on the phone for 10 minutes or chit-chat or catch up or any of this or that. Just say, I really want to hear about it. And I'll give you my undivided attention over dinner tomorrow night or over drinks tomorrow night or over a bottle of wine at my place tomorrow night, whatever it happens to be. That's all you got to do. She, you keep giving her the same response and she'll either make plans to come over or she'll stop calling. 
Either way, you'll either get her or you'll get somebody better. Makes it really simple that way. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign-up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device already, you can download one of their free e-reader apps for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website right now. And on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.